second, second cousin on my mom's side. Turn down the TV. We're trying to make a video here. Welcome to another video brought to you by Glossica. I'm June and I'll be going through with you how to call all your relatives. Because it might be complicated sometimes, there's four ways to call your uncles and four ways to call your aunties. So grab a pencil and pen, let's go. Family is so important in Mandarin speaking cultures. Three generation households are still fairly common, which keeps family members especially close. Parents often continue to help their kids well into adulthood and even become the main caregivers of their grandchildren while parents are still at work. Young people are expected to respect their elders and help take care of them as they age. A word that is often used in Mandarin Chinese here is xiao shun. Xiao shun. Xiao shun which translates to filial piety. This word refers to a respect for one's parents and elders and is the most fundamental Confucian value. If you take good care of your parents and your grandparents, people might say, 你很孝顺. 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 You are very filial. In most Western cultures, we're used to calling most of our relatives by their first names. But in Mandarin-speaking cultures, you should always greet them by saying who they are in relation to you. And that's when the things get really tricky. The names for family members aren't quite as simple as they are in English. Let's take a look at some of the most important ones. Dad is 爸爸, 爸爸. Or more formally, 父亲, 父亲. Mom is mama, mama, or mu qing, mu qing. Older brother is ge ge, ge ge, while younger brother is di di, di di. Now starting to be complicated, older sister is jie jie, jie jie. Younger sister is mei mei, mei mei. These people are who you would usually call your family or jia ren, jia ren. Jia ren. Here comes the really tricky parts. Uncle, who is your father's older brother, you call him Bo Fu. Bo Fu. Your father's younger brother is Shu Shu. Shu Shu. Father's sister's husband, Gu Zhang. Gu Zhang. Mother's brother, Jiu Jiu. Jiu Jiu. Mother's sister's husband, Yi Zhang. Yi Zhang. And your aunties, Father's sister, Gu Gu, Gu Gu. Father's brother's wife, Shen Shen, Shen Shen. Mother's sister, A Yi, A Yi. Mother's brother's wife, Zhou Ma, Zhou Ma. And without confusing you too much, I will leave you with this. The terms for cousins on your father's side all start with the character Tang, followed by the word for older, younger brother or sister. Tangge, Tangge, who is an older male cousin on dad's side. Tangdi, Tangdi, younger male cousin on your dad's side. Tangjie, Tangjie, an older female cousin on your dad's side. Tangmei, Tangmei, an younger female cousin on your dad's side. Whew, that's a lot, isn't it? For cousins on your mom's side, the term followed the same pattern. But they all start with the character biao. Biao ge, biao ge, is an older male cousin on your mom's side. Biao di, biao di, is a younger male cousin on your mom's side. Biao jie, biao jie, is an older female cousin on your mom's side. Biao mei, biao mei, is a younger female cousin on your mom's side. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this is helpful, and hopefully next time you won't be overwhelmed by all the titles in Chinese. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you like videos like this. If you're interested in more details, please visit our blog post link down below. Until next time, 下次见, bye bye.